I again thank you for being part of this journey as we reflect together on the Sermon on the Mount. We're uh, fast getting through um, Matthew chapter 6 and the Lord's Prayer and uh, we're up to, to verse 12. And forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. Sin in this prayer is likened to a debt, a debt that's outstanding to God. And so we're asking God to forgive us our sins. But why do we need to ask this? The Bible tells us that once we have confessed our sins, once we've repented of our sins, uh, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Why do we need to keep on uh, asking for God's forgiveness? Well, I think there's a reminder here of the uh, kind of ongoing nature of the fact that we sin and uh, not that we haven't already been forgiven for the sins that we will yet do through Jesus, but actually it's reminding us that we are um, to be contrite, that we are to be repentant, and that we are beholden to God for forgiving us. And uh, we're asking him time and time and time again to, to go on uh, reminding us of his forgiveness, uh, because as, or, or as we become increasingly aware that... Um, we go on getting things wrong. We go on screwing things up. So God has forgiven us. Yes, absolutely. Through the, uh, our acceptance of Jesus as Lord and King, God has forgiven us, past, present, future. But it's good for us to be reminded or to remember that actually we are beholden, we're dependent upon him for that forgiveness. And of course, the verse goes on to suggest that just as we have been forgiven, we must show forgiveness to others. The Bible says somewhere, doesn't it, uh, uh, of whom much is given, much is expected. We've been given everything. We've been given everything that we need to be able to, to draw into God's presence and God's family. Uh, and so that measure of, of everything-ness should be offered by us to others. Uh, God's looking for uh, an attitude in us, and Jesus is uh, encouraging an attitude in us that shows the generosity of God to others. And that means that we should allow nothing to remain outstanding between ourselves and another human being. And as we uh, expect or anticipate that God will hold nothing between us and him. So we're asking for God's forgiveness. We're asking for that regularly, daily, as we pray. Uh, not because we need a new dose of that every day, but a new reminder, I think. And we're also reminded through this prayer that Jesus taught that we are to show the same forgiveness to other people. And maybe that is something we need to be reminded of every day, uh, at least. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Father, please be at work in us. Thank you so much for your redeeming work in forgiving us our sins. Help us to be as generous to others, Lord, as uh, we issue forgiveness and proclaim forgiveness just as much as we delight in receiving it. Fill our hearts and our souls and our spirits, Lord, and help us to be a, a people who live out the truth of your good news. Amen. Amen. God bless. Take care.